will never eat these food products again after watching this. Well, welcome back to the Dr. Gundry Podcast. I'm going to share three so-called healthy foods that are actually wrecking your health and why I recommend avoiding them at all costs. First of all, whole grain bread. For decades now, we've been hearing that whole grain foods are good for us. But the truth is, whole grains are actually behind some of the most common health issues there are in the modern era. Remember, up until 10,000 years ago, human beings did not eat grain. It did not exist as a food. Human beings actually shrunk about a foot over 2,000 years when they started eating whole grain bread shrunk. And that's pretty scary. Now there's a difference between white breads and whole grain breads. And up until a couple generations ago, everybody ate white bread. In fact, still much of Europe eats white bread rather than whole grain bread. In fact, aristocrats and the rich always fought over who was going to get the white bread, and it was felt that the brown bread was for peasants. Why did they do that? Well, it wasn't for social status. It was actually because they felt better. Why? Because the hall of grains is where most of the really nasty lectins reside. And one of the worst lectins in wheat is called wheat germ agglutinin, and that's in the hull of the wheat. Wheat germ agglutinin is a very tiny lectin that sadly can pass through the wall of our gut without having leaky gut. And as researchers have shown, wheat germ agglutinin can actually bind to insulin receptors, blocking the effect of insulin, and making insulin store more fat, and it can also bind to receptors on the wall of our blood vessels, causing inflammation and attack on our blood vessels. So we certainly don't want that. Now, white bread is no better for you than wheat bread because white bread has been, still has gluten, Number two, it's been refined into a very, very white powder of starch molecules. And these starch molecules can actually turn into glucose, sugar, faster than even table sugar. Just remember, a piece of white bread has four teaspoons of sugar. A whole white bagel has as much as 10 to 12 teaspoons of sugar, even though it doesn't taste sweet and it doesn't appear on the label. So buyer beware. Now, second most dangerous food, store-bought trail mix. While these may seem like a healthy, convenient option for on the go, they're typically made with many dangerous ingredients. I know you've heard me say this before, but not all nuts are created equal. Many of these pre-packed mixes include peanuts and cashews, two of the biggest lectin bombs. Peanuts are not a nut. They're a bean. They're a legume. The cashew is actually part of the poison ivy family, and I don't see a lot of people recommending eating poison ivy. On top of that, Many nut mixes contain lectin-loaded seeds, seeds, like sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, and sugary sweet, like sweetened cranberries, raisins, even M&Ms, and other chocolates. Now, the good news is there's plenty of lectin-free nuts and seeds that you can use to make a perfectly healthy trail mix right at home. Try some pilly nuts, use macadamia nuts, use walnuts, use pistachios, use um, walnuts, sorry, and pine nuts. 
And if you love that chocolate addition, try adding some broken up chunks of dark chocolate, at least 72% or greater. Personally, I like to put 85% pieces of Lily's extra dark chocolate in my trail mix. Okay, last but not least, yogurt. Now, so many of our yogurts are now labeled as low fat or low calorie. Well, if you check the label on a single serving size of YoPlay yogurt, it has 20 grams of sugar. That's five teaspoons of sugar in that small serving. In fact, as it applies to yogurt and almost everything else, low fat almost always equals high sugar. To make matters worse, most yogurts sold in our grocery stores, even very popular brands, are made from American cow milk, which have a lectin-like protein called casein A1, which is known to cause leaky gut, and has also been associated with damage to the pancreas, beta cells which produce insulin. Okay. But if you really love yogurt, there are some safe options out there. Look for goat milk yogurt, sheep milk yogurt, coconut yogurt, or a combination of coconut and pili nut yogurt. It's called lava yogurt, L-A-V-V-A. It's pretty easy to find these days. Again, watch for the sugar content. Now, the easiest way is don't look for the low-fat versions. Don't look for a flavored version. Just this week, one of my patients was shocked to learn that their healthy vanilla yogurt actually had about five teaspoons of sugar per serving. They were absolutely avoiding the fruit yogurt because they knew that was awful but they were shocked that vanilla yogurt would also contain the same amount of sugar. So if you see a flavoring, stay away. Now, it's easy to add a flavoring at home. One of the easiest ways is to buy sweet leaf stevia drops. They make about, I think, 15 different flavors. So if you want vanilla yogurt, buy some stevia drops and put it in. You'll then have a no sugar added yogurt that'll be great for you. And fun fact, if you've read Unlocking the Keto Code, you know that goat and sheep yogurt have generous amounts of MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, which are one of the key healthy ingredients in many of the blue zones. So have some goat yogurt, have some sheep yogurt, have some goat kefir, have some sheep kefir. You will get MCTs into your diet. Now, why do that? Because MCTs will convert in your liver to ketones. And as you know from unlocking the keto code, ketones are one of the keys to making your mitochondria healthier and happier in the long run. All right, so take home messages. Whole grain bread is a modern invention. Societies have been trying for 10,000 years to get the hauls off of grains to make them safer to eat and more palatable. Whole grains do not equal health, they equal bad health. Besides, come on, has anyone really seen whole grains in that whole grain bread? They've been broken down into finer particles and they oxidize. And most of these companies have to put in artificial antioxidants that I show in the plant paradox is one of the reasons of ill health from eating these whole grain breads. 
Secondly, ditch the trail mix that you buy at the stores. Yeah, I know it's convenient. Yeah, I know it's there at Trader Joe's. I know it's there at Costco. I walk by it, you know, every week. Make your own, buy a few bags of nuts, add some extra dark chocolate, and you'll be well at, way ahead and financially much better off than getting the trail mixes. And please, please, please stay away from American cow yogurt, particularly low-fat cow yogurt. It's a sugar bomb in disguise. This next one is sure to surprise you. People who ask to have MCT oil as part of their diet versus people who did not have MCT oil as part of their diet lost three to five kilograms of weight in six weeks 